Hello and welcome back to one more card for this month's uh, card making class for April. And this one is just a little um, fancy fold, if you want to call it. Not very hard to do. Plus, you actually get to see a little sneak peek of one of the new stem sets that are coming up in May. And this is one of my favorites. It's called Irish Blessings. It's D2095 and you can have it starting May 1st. I will put a link um, once it's live on the, um, in the description of the video or you just contact me. But I just love the um, phrases that are on there and they're great for card on the inside as well as the outside. So let's get going. As you can see, there are a couple pieces here. Um, I just use a plain card base. Uh, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I scored it at two and a half. So this makes this little flap a little bit shorter. Yeah, I just wanna make sure. Um, but that is on purpose. You can score it right in the middle, so two and a quarter, uh, two and an eighth, uh, so it lines up over here. But um, for me, um, I just thought two and a half is great and it's easier because I made a lot of cards for card class and um, this was just easier to run down. Plus, it's a little bit different because it shows actually a little bit more of the paper. And when you look here at the card, it kind of looks like this paper goes all the way um, across, but it actually is not. So the back, you see when we open it here, there's only a paper on this side. And I don't mind, you can close it and put some adhesive down, but it stays pretty nice and flat. And I like it that it's open a little bit. So when you place it, you get a little bit more dimension. And then there's an extra strip that goes on the inside. So let me show you how we put this together. Um, first of all, um, here are the pieces. So beside your card base, we have one piece of cardstock uh, design paper, sorry, that is two inches by five and a um, quarter. Then the strip for the inside is half an inch by five and a quarter. Then we have that pink piece that is three inches by four. It is this one. The white piece is uh, two and a quarter, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So in qu pretty much just three by four, a quarter shorter, depending on what phrase you use. If you don't have this one, you use a different phrase, so you just want to match it up. And then we have one extra piece here that is uh, one and a half by five and a, qu uh, and a quarter. So that is all we need right now and let's get started so i'm gonna start with the bigger piece here and you can use your tape runner again i just happen to have my paper here my uh, liquid adhesive here so and i what i do is i kind of line it up so that this uh, area here and the top and the bottom are similar space spaced. I don't mind if it's your bigger gap because you won't see this anyway. So just make sure that um, the frame around here is kind of even. Next thing we want to do is we put our um, mint or this is sea glass, I think, um, on here. And this is just centered in the flap centered meaning just making sure that there is a nice even flame frame around the piece and then this little strip so what I done with this one is I did the same thing with the that I did with the big one I wanted to make sure it is evenly spaced so I left just a little bit of frame on this side and made sure the distance on the top and on the bottom is the same so that it optical you know it's like an optical illusion it looks like this paper is going all the way across make sure that if you have a striped paper or if you're having since you have your card class on hand um make sure that the the colors are going in the same direction otherwise naturally you don't get the same effect it's a little bit off but um just make sure 
we have an eighth of an inch on this side we're gonna do on this side we're gonna do about the same distance here and like i said i'm just eyeballing this and there you have it now the next thing i'm gonna adhere um to color these in um i just use regular coloring pencils whatever you have at home if you use marker in this case you can use markers because we're gonna put this on a piece of um cardstock so even so it might bleed through um you won't see it otherwise i just use regular pencils and just gave the mountain stair the sun and our little butterfly a little bit of color and you can do more or less um you can also if you want to highlight a couple of words in here if you have one of our um, uh, background stamps, you know, the watercolor, the splashes, or this is another preview of one of the new ones that's coming in May. It's called Brush sto Stroke, and you see this really thin one, which fits nicely over some of those phrases. So you can highlight those with a little bit of ink, but just make sure you use ink that is lighter, like a pink, a mint, a yellow, you know, a light pink that uh, the words still come through if it's too dark of an ink you might not see the writing anymore but you can do this too to highlight one or the other and then I just center this one here and now to adhere this normally I always tell you put adhesive on the back side of the piece that you want to adhere to something and that is correct but there are exceptions and this is one of them since as you can see here in the sample uh, card it is not adhered to everything it's just adhered to this little piece of small piece of um, paper so what I did was instead I just eyeballed it so I keep my fingers about here where this piece is and then I just stay away from my finger on the top here and just put the adhesive down here and then I can take my piece and okay so it's about as much showing and push it down and this way I have no adhesive on the back side here and here <clears throat> and it stays in place and it doesn't stick to anything <coughs> excuse me and again for a little bit extra um, decoration I went around and did a little frame here with my black pen and you don't have to hand draw it you can use <coughs> man excuse me uh, you can use um, a ruler if you want to but I'm just doing it this way all right and there is your little happy birthday card really easy something different and lots of room to write and if you want to do more doodling um, or maybe Maybe you have a fun photo of the person you want to send it to that you want to hide back here. Um, there's lots of things you can do with this card. So I hope you enjoyed this month's project. And like I said, if you feel like you would like to try these out, um, even so you're not living here in the area and come to classes in person, um, I always make the videos so it's easy to follow along and put them together. If you order the sets they will be pre-stamped and pretty much everything done that you might not have at home um i will not color in or something that's usually something you have at home coloring pencils or um this type of like black pens that you can do on your own at home well thanks for watching and i will see you back for the next card class uh in may and until then um i'm sure there will be many more projects to be shown on here okay thanks for watching Bye bye